So guys, welcome back to another Roblox events video. Today, guys, we are going to be playing a Roblox event we have played before. It was the Sporting Goods event, and we are actually going to be getting some layered clothing. Now, I know normally I don't really like layered clothing, but this one's one of those auras, so I thought I might as well make a video. Not gonna lie, the colors are a bit dark. It looks a bit gloomy, but it's called the School of Sport Goat Aura, and it's kind of like multiple accessories combined together. So we've got a basketball, a football, an American football, fire. It's also got a medal, which says Goat on it. So yeah, this thing is a bit random. I kind of wish this color, this sort of like bluish color was a bit brighter, but whatever. It's okay. It's free. Let me show you guys how to get it. Yeah, like I said, it's from the School of Sport games. So let's go and join a server. It's pretty easy. I'll show you how to get it quickly. So once you guys join the game, you will be able to find a UGC item and you can also find this billboard right in front of you, which pretty much tells you exactly what you want to do. So the first one says, get free legendary pitches in baseball. Yeah, we need to do this. It's it's not that difficult though. The second one says complete the snow obby. The third one says complete two consecutive passes in football. And so the final one says score 1.5k points in a single basketball game. So obviously guys, we're gonna do the baseball one first. So we're gonna click on play. We're gonna go to the baseball stadium. And basically, yeah, you just wanna walk over to the first lobby. So this one is co-op lobby one. I would recommend choosing that because obviously everyone's gonna be picking this one. And yeah, you basically just want to play with somebody random and you want to do the pitching. So so we're going to try and get legendary every time, which is 3x, which obviously means three times the points. Basically, you want to click on this three times. Now, you don't have to get it like first try. You can do this in like multiple games, if that makes sense. So don't worry if you mess it up. You can always go and do it again. And if you scored one legendary, then yeah, it will carry over. But yeah, you just want to do this um, three times. It's very, very simple. You can also finish batting if you want to, but that doesn't really matter. Actually, for me, when I was um, recording this bit, batting for me really started started glitching up. But yeah, like I said, who cares? We have now finished this task, so we can actually move on to the next one. And like I was saying, guys, the next one is the snow obby. So we're going to go and select this. It's going to teleport you into a locker room and you can find the snow obby inside of here. So we're going to click on play to start the obby. And there you go. It's like this whole sort of timed thing. Honestly, you can take your time. It really doesn't matter. If you're slow, if you're fast at doing this, it doesn't make a difference. Now, I would say one thing about this obby, right? The movements on it, it was very strange. I think that's because the map was covered in ice and it was very slippery. But I don't know. My character was going very slowly. It was a bit frustrating. But it's not really like a difficult obby. It's kind of like a beginner obby. Anyone can do this. It's got plenty of checkpoints. It's got plenty of like simple obstacles, you know, just simple jumps. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'll let you guys watch most of the footage and I will resume my commentary towards the end. So here we are just about to finish the obby and the end is the hardest part. It kind of reminds me of that like classic Roblox game where it's got the cars flying down and you have to dodge out the way. Yeah, this can be a bit annoying if you get hit because pretty much as you can see, it knocks you all the way to the end, which is very, very annoying. So again, just take your time on this. You should be able to do it. Like I said, it's not really too difficult. And once you get to the end, it's going to say finish. You get the checkpoints and it should give you a badge as well. As you can see, I did it in three minutes and 55 seconds seconds, which is not too bad. That one's complete. Let's move on to the next one. So on to challenge number three. This one was the hoops challenge. Now for this one, you have to be a bit crafty. I don't know if you guys remember my events video from a few months ago, earlier this year, right? Well, I actually had to use an auto clicker to complete this. And I think many other Roblox players are also doing the same. I'll leave a link to the OP auto clicker down below in the video's description. Basically, if you copy my settings and you just press F6 on your keyboard, you want to hover your mouse between focus focus and also the targets. Now, if you were doing this while clicking your mouse, it's just going to destroy your mouse, to be honest. Computer mouses, they only have several clicks. So if you spam click them, it can damage them kind of easily, I guess. So yeah, you don't want to be doing that. Use an auto click on this. It just makes it so much easier. And again, you should be able to complete it first try. So yeah, you just want to switch between the goals and the focus button with the auto clicker enabled. Like I said, to enable it, you press F6. Make sure it's on at 100 milliseconds. And that's basically all you need to 
to do. The time is about to run out for me and as you guys can see any second now. Yep, I got the badge. I got like 2,800 points. We only needed 1,500 so that was the basketball game complete. And now here we are onto the final one. The two consecutive passes in football. So we're going to go to the football challenge. Now this one was very easy but also a bit strange. You want to go and play and it's going to load into this sort of like multiplier straight away. You guys want to click start game then you want to click throw and you want to throw your football towards your teammates. Now you don't want to throw it at the red guys. You want to throw it at the green and yellow ones or green and gold whatever color they are. You want to throw it to your team members and if you do this like a few times if you just do two passes or whatever then it should be fine. You should be able to claim your points and that's basically it. It says congratulations. Now if you actually go back to the main sort of map so if you click on the play button then you go to the hoops challenge that will spawn you back at the start and if you go over to redeem UGC yep that is how you get the free item. You got the goat or a UGC. So there we have it guys that's basically it. That's how you get this thing. And there we are. That wasn't too difficult. So if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.